Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I would like to demonstrate a well-known item. It has its origins in the traditions of Indians. Some call it a feather spirit wand, and then there are others that call it a feather smudge wand. It's up to you, but I will be using feathers, and I will show you um, the supplies you need. There are a lot of videos out, how-to videos. These are basically done according to your taste. You will need a some type of glue gun. It's best to use a low temp glue gun because you can touch the melted glue without causing burns to your skin. You need a base, something to work on, a type of stick, or you can also use a crystal. Uh, this came off of a tree. Uh, this is, I haven't stripped it, but this is um, part of a vine. You want to make sure it's dry and very sturdy and strong. Then you will strip the bark. There's two layers of bark. There's an outer bark and an inner bark on these. I'll include a picture of it. You can soak these in water and it will loosen the bark up and make it easy to strip or you can just let it sit out in the open and let the weather cause it to do a natural stripping. Either way, it's up to you. You use whichever method is good for you. You'll also need uh, some type of tape. This is a roll tape for reinforcement to just kind of help hold everything together. You may not need it, but just in case, it's good to have it on hand. You will need something to act as a an element to finish off your item to make it look nice and neat. And it will give it a finished look, but it will also um, help to reinforce and keep everything together. This is a hemp cord. You can use hemp cord. Some people use leather. I just prefer not to use leather on this. And uh, this pack had three different colors on it. They do have uh, a variety of um, hemp cords now in different colors. So if you want like a pastel or something other than these natural or neutral shades, they also have those available. Let you see that. I'm going to pick this middle one. The reason why I'm picking the middle one is because it kind of enhances and goes with this. This lighter one may cause the eye to go to the cord, and I want it to be as neutral as possible once I wrap it. So you need that, and you need some type of cutters. I have, um, I'm a little short-handed. I didn't bring everything that I need, but some type of scissors, utility scissors. This is a wire cutter and it's working. It's gonna work well for what I'm gonna need, I'm gonna use. You need feathers, different types, different um, sizes, depends on how large you want your uh, wand and what you want it to look like. These are all feathers that I have picked up their treasures that I find. Um, with the exception of these, I, they, they really look like uh, maybe dove feathers. They feel like and look like dove feathers. These were purchased, and I'm going to maybe use a few of these as an accent for these colors. Now, embellishment. You can embellish this with feathers of different colors, stones, um, beads, ribbons, crystals, anything that you like. I'm going to, um, I've already did these. I'll, I'll show you how to do these in another video. These are um, copper, it's copper wire that I've made into ringlets to attach to the wand. 
because I like things to be versatile. I've wire wrapped these, and I'm pretty sure you can find videos on how to wire wrap these. I've, they're um, a combination of plant matter and crystals. They, the beads have holes in them, so that was easy, but you can wire wrap almost anything. And so that's what I did. I wire wrapped these. And I want these to sort of hang on the finished item. But I also would like the um, versatility of taking them off. Depends on what I'm going to use it for. I won't just use it for uh, smudging. I have a sensor that has um, changed. You've probably seen it in the other video that I have. And so I don't really need um, the feather wand to direct the smoke. And one thing you can do, I, um, I'll tolerate this. A lot of these feathers that I purchased have this blunt cut edge here. Very blunt. And I don't like that. So I went through the entire pack. And that's what you should do. Go through all of the items that you have and select ones for the intended purpose that you're going to use um, the item for. So I have two other ones that are approximately the same size and I'm just going to put this up beside it and measure it and it starts about here. And so I'm just going to take, you can take your scissors or these wire cutters and cut it and that way you have the size that you want to work with this you can use as a decoration for something or what have you you can also cut off the tips similar to this and you can embellish it with these i've seen some really nice colorful ones and so you can use like i said almost anything that you like so we'll get started you can also do a finishing um, look on this part, the wood part, handle, but I kind of like the natural wood, so I'm leaving that like it is. After you strip these, though, the bark off, you want to slightly sand it so it doesn't have any type of splinters, and if there's little knobs, 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 what do they call them? Knots on them, the wood, where the little small branches stuck off. You can file those off. I filed off some of them up near the top where I'm going to wrap, but I haven't decided if I'm going to leave this on or not. It's sort of like the character of the piece, and so I may not take everything off. Because I'm working with nature, I don't intend on removing everything. I like to leave some things on. When I cut these, if you can see that, I cut them at an angle on both ends. Put you in the mind of the double termination uh, crystal points that I've shown in previous videos. I like the double termination because it's pointing and that's what I, it's an extension. It's an extension of your hand. So I've, assort, I've uh, sorted these feathers in different lengths and uh, according to what they are. And then I'll just start, start placing them on here. Be generous with your glue. The low temp, it should not take long to dry but the thing is when you place these sometimes I look to see which direction they were going and how I wanted them sometimes when you work with hot glue like this is low temp so the low temp glue as you can see it dries much faster than the hot, the really hot glue will burn 
but it takes a little longer and gives you a little more time to work with it. So it's okay if it doesn't set right, it sets too fast, just peel it right off and start again. This time, put a generous amount, but just enough. I'm so used to working with a really hot glue. And I'm laying this next to it, but not completely behind it. So it slightly overlaps. And I'm pressing it in. So that it sets. And then I move to the next spot. Some, as you can see, some feathers go to the left, some veer to the right. So it's best to lay them out next to each other. And you'll be able to tell um, which way they're laying and what's a better fit. So see, this one will not, this one will not go quite well over here because as you see the directions of these feathers are going that way and this is going in the opposite direction so this one when I laid them out that's how I did it. I laid this out to go over on this side it'll look much better and so I come over here and a generous amount of hot glue right along there in a strip and then I place this here allowing it to go slightly behind the other feather that was there. In the end, it'll look like I laid it down maybe first. 